Hi, Dry Sale Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw number 67 from Squid Game. So let's get started. To draw one of my favorite characters from Squid Game, let's first start by drawing her face. So I'm going to come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. So I'm going to come down, a curve, go right across, so about right here. And we're just going to connect it at the bottom of a curve. So I'm going to try to make it a little bit more angular. So as I come to the center about right here, then I'm going to go up. There, just a little bit. <laughs> Give her a little bit more squarish jawline. Then from there, I'm going to go back to where we started and on the edge, I'm going to draw a circle for her eyes. So nice big circle. And same thing on the other side, about right here towards the edge. And now that I have my circles in, let's come in here and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. And now that eyes in, let's come in here and spruce them up a tiny bit just some short lashes right here, just two curves, nice and simple, and then same thing over here. There, and then from there, I'm going to give her a, um, not really a smile, not really a frown. <laughs> it's just gonna be kind of like a little straight line right about here in the center. Just a slight curve, and cap it off. I didn't think a smile was appropriate, but I didn't want to give her a frown either. So just a slight little line right there. And then we're going to start her hair. So I'm just going to imagine this as an oval and I'll say about right here in the center. I'm just going to give myself a point right there. And this is where I'm going to start to draw some strands of hair that's close to her eye. So I'll come down. This is for her bangs. I'm just going to start to draw some strands back and forth and closer to her eye sometimes and another one comes down and it's all coming back to the center so uh let's see here maybe one more here going this way now and one more coming down so you just want to mix it up a little bit so it's not um, so stiff. And then from there, now that we have the center patch in, I'm going to come down with a curve and bring it right back to where we started and out. So same thing here. Come down and back to where you started and out to frame her face. Then, before I forget, I better draw her eyebrows in. So, about right here, whatever space, um, I'm going to come about right here and just draw a soft curve. And same thing on this side, right here, right through her bangs. <laughs> Bring this down a little bit so it's not caught right on that line. And I'll just thicken it up a little bit. There. Okay, and then when you're coloring, you can just give her some freckles for on her face. Then from there, let's go straight to center, go up, and I'm just gonna give myself a line right here where her hair parts, and about right there, I'll stop, and I'm going to draw the top of her head. So go up and up on both sides. Then let's bring this down, and you're gonna come in, give it a little strand that pops out, and down. So same thing over here. And the strand that pops out by right here, in, and out. 
So before I draw the rest of her hair, I'm going to stop um, so I can draw her body first and then finish her hair. So let's come back to right here and we're going to give her a little neck. So right in the center, I'm going to draw a curve that comes down for her neck. But before I draw her shoulders, I need to draw her collar. So I'm going to come right here, round this part off, and I'm going to bring this down towards the center, just to give her a little neckline. Then from there, I'm going to come back to my neck and bring a curve down. And let's bring this down a little bit more. And just put in the collar right there. So same thing here. Come around, come out, and back in for her collar. And then come back in here if she has the shirt inside. So I'm just going to draw a curve and another line, a little detail. And then we can go ahead and draw her shoulders. So let's come out and down right here. So if you're using a pencil, definitely just ignore this first and just go ahead and draw her shoulders first and then put in the collar. Okay, so then now that we have that in, let's find her armpit area. So say about right here and here. A little bit lower and wider because she's wearing um, a very loose outfit. And then from there, I'm going to bring this down at a slight angle. And let's keep going down. So it's nice and baggy. So about right here, I'm going to pop it out a little bit. Pop it out a little bit. And about right there, I'm going to go ahead and connect with a slight wobble. And then let's come down. One more layer, come in and give her another layer right here. So kind of like a cuff area. I'm not really sure what that's called, but the bottom part. And then let's come right here and draw a center line down for the zipper area. There. And now let's come down, draw her um, sweatpants. So let's come down, say about right here. I'm just going to give myself a slight angle line. And I'm going to come out right here and start her pants. So because they're baggy, once again, I'm just going to go ahead and come down and down. So it's pretty much almost stuck together. So let's work on this side first because they're so baggy. So let's bring this down. And as I come down, I'm going to flare it out a tiny bit and then bring it in right there and connect. So same thing over here. Flare it out a little bit and connect. Flare out and connect. And right here, you just give it a tiny cuff right there and then her feet. So I'm just going to very simplify, simplify it and just draw a curve that comes out for her feet. And I'll just add a curve right here for her shoes. So same thing over here. Give it a little cuff and then her feet. There. So we're done with that part. Now let's draw her arms. So I'm going to bring them down. And once again, her sleeves are nice and poofy as well. Baggy, I mean. So as we come down, I want her hands to be about right here. So bring this out a little bit and then in, just like the pants. And right here, just go ahead and connect. Once again, then add a little cuff right there. And then her hands. So we're just going to put in a thumb, round it off, and fingers. So same thing on the other side. We come down, and we're just going to aim to be the same area, about right here, just like the other side. Poof it out, and in. And then add a little cuff once again. I think I'm too, I can go a little bit lower. 
there. <laughs> and then her hands once again. A thumb, round it off, and in. There. Okay, so then now for some details on her uniform here. Let's um, armpit area. So let's go across. We're going to connect this and give it some creases right here where the armpits are. Then there's this white band that runs on the top. We're going to bring this down. Same thing over here. And it's on the pants too, before I forget. You don't have to draw this harsh line if you don't want to. You can just do it when you're coloring. I want to show you where the colors are different. And some pockets right here on the side. And let's see. Uh, and the most important part is the number, right? So let's come right here. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle. So a little space here for me to write the number 067. But before I do that, let's uh, draw her hair first. Uh, let's come right here. And I'm just going to come in, flick in some more strands. And right here at the bottom, back and forth and then in. So right here, once again, just draw some strands to make it a little bit messy. Um, maybe going this way. And just taper it in and in there. So hopefully I've captured her hair correctly. <laughs> and let's see here. From there, I forgot. Let's come down here. We're going to draw a little center line for our detail before I forget. And so draw some crease lines right here and let's see okay so now we're gonna um, uh, write the number uh, 67 so since it's white I decided to just paint in this part right here real quickly since I have the right color and I'm gonna use my whiteout pen here my white out pen here and uh, write the number 67 so hopefully it won't be too muddled up zero six seven yay we did it <laughs> so I just wanted to show you since I had this white pen to write the number 67 so they're all done. I really hope you love my version here of Sebiok from Squid Games and that I made it fun and easy for you to follow along. If you love uh, Squid Game, please make sure to check out my Squid Games playlist for all the other characters that I've drawn from this series already. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.